All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you haven't already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 film called Indiana Jones, The Dial of Destiny. This is the fifth and final installment of Harrison Ford's Indiana franchise, but apparently Disney is doing a younger indie series at some point. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but here's the plot of this one. Indiana Jones races against time to retrieve a legendary dial that can change the course of history. Accompanied by his goddaughter, he soon finds himself squaring off against Jürgen Waller, a former World War II German officer who works for NASA now. Here is the cast. So as we know, he, uh, Harrison Ford uh, is in his 60s or 70s, and technically at this point, since this is, I believe it looked like it was in the 60s, uh, Indiana Jones is definitely around that age too. Uh, so they went with a somewhat frail old man feel to this, not the whole time, but it was kind of disappointing at times, but it does make sense. Was a little disappointing in the beginning, but he gets more and better as he film, does the film goes along, like I said. To be honest, I didn't really care for the character Helena or the actress playing her. I'm not familiar with her, so it's kind of hard to really get into her type of acting. Um, there are some more that are more than others that even if I don't know them, they can be really good at portraying. I, I really, I, I, I really know enough about her and she just couldn't, I couldn't get into her acting skills, to be honest, or definitely her character. Could have gone another direction with her character, to be honest, though. Really didn't care for the kid either, which was pretty much their little short round, if you remember from the second film. Uh, and they, of course, tried to throw in many references to the other films. Uh, some I personally felt could have been better some more way better the worst being the re reference to his fear of snakes made me roll my eyes with what they did uh, it felt like a stretch to me that that's what the, how they're comparing it you could tell and they made it trying to make it go towards that way like it's obvious but the way they did it with what they did it with was pretty stretchable for me personally uh, I was sold on the film and the story for the first 30 40 minutes Despite the bad de-aging CGI, then the story started to go downhill around 50 minutes of a two and a half hour long film. The final big fight scene was a bit of a ball buster in my opinion. I didn't know where they were going with this story concept because I didn't look ahead, I didn't watch the trailers, I didn't want any spoilers, I wanted to go in blind. Unfortunately, that didn't go well. But felt lacking and arguably dumber than the last film. The plot of it, I mean. Uh, I also add that the tiny volume of villains throughout the film is another downer. Normally you have an army of some kind behind them, behind the main villain. But the story less and is less impactful for me with the action and stakes of the story. Here's my rating, I'll come back with my final thoughts. You know, I don't know. Maybe I went in with too high of expectations. I would have liked for them to go all out for the final chapter instead of this going all out with the references. They went overboard with it and a lot of them failed, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this is like the final chapter. Um, was it fun? Yeah. Uh, but that wasn't like as hugely fun as the other ones. Um, I think the last one, despite the uh, the concept of the story of what it was going, um, was kind of dumb, yes, but it was still more funner than this, to be honest. Um, even though, again, this was fun, but not as fun as it should have been. Uh, but that's not even the problem. The problem is the, it went downhill over time, in my opinion, uh, with this story. Um, it could have been something that they should have have done a lot more writing 
you know, better writing with, should have had more. It, it's the end of Harrison Ford's biggest franchise that he's known for. It's kind of a big letdown for me personally that they that they went this way. Um, I don't know who the director is. I saw his name, but I don't recognize anything he's done. So I'm, I don't know, maybe it's just been handed over to Spielberg or something, but, um, or, or some one of those big ones that do, obviously not uh, uh, the, the guy that does explosions. Well, that's the obvious one. Um, but even though kind of Spielberg kind of goes on around, but that's a lot for me to say and honestly it's this kind of sad disappointing either way i was going to come out this uh, sad because it's it's he's old it's he's i think he's going to retire soon or he's going near that way but it, it definitely looks like <sighs> disney is getting a hold of stuff and uh, it's not always going to be good compared to where it was under lucasfilm so yeah, uh, that's just all my opinion. But again, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. And I'm hoping to have something out tomorrow, which is called Mobland, starring John Travolta. But hit your bell icon for that, and uh, we'll see if it's good. Remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Skull.